Okay folks, getting pretty close to the 2018 riding season. Doing all the maintenance here on my Microburst 600 side by side. And tonight I'm tackling the broken axle shaft that I suffered on my last run uh, from the 2017 season. So what I was able to do was to source some heavy duty CV joints. So I managed to find these joints here. You can see they're they're quite a bit bigger compared to the old joints. And what that will allow me to do is run a much larger diameter axle shaft because the inside of the joint here is quite a bit larger. So I'm going to be able to step this axle shaft up in size quite a bit. Alright, I just finished dialing the run out. I have it down to about 5,000. It seems to be about as close as I can get. And uh, that's going to be good enough for this. Alright, I need to cut 22 splines on the shaft. So this is my uh, Seijo indexing head. This is a 40 to 1 reduction, so 40 turns of the handle to 1 uh, rotation on the axle shaft. So in order to cut uh, 22 splines, I went through the math. It's going to be uh, one full rotation and then 81 holes on the 99 hole bolt circle. And that gives me exactly 22 divisions in order to cut my splines. So once I cut the spline and go one turn and uh, 81 holes, I insert this pin into the correct hole and then I take these sector dividing arms and I swing it back around. All right, so it lines up on the hole I'm currently on. And then I'll do another turn, one full turn, 81. All right, and I'll just keep just keep repeating this process until I've cut my uh, 22 splines. Okay, I'm gonna fire up the mill and uh, let's get cutting.
Okay, folks, just finished cutting the splines on the uh, on the axle shaft, and things turned out pretty nice. Now I ended up buying a uh, a new end mill here. This is a 90 degree double sided end mill. And let me tell you, that makes this job a lot easier. Big thanks to uh, Adam for pointing that thing out to me. But yeah, check out those splines. Did that ever turn out nice? So I'll do a test fit, but uh, there's no big surprises here. This thing fits exactly like you would expect. There you go. Okay, that's uh, one of three done. Keep at her.